I say insert, you say art. Insert. Art. Insert. Art. I say... Character, uh, you say mashup. Okay, yeah. Okay. Did I do it? Character. Yeah. Mashup. Character. Mashup. Yeah. yeah. That was good. That was a good intro. Nice. I think we've got it. That's our intro good from improv. now on. Woo. Yay. You spun the wheel. I did spin the wheel. Let's have a look. Can I do a practice one first? No. Your first character is... <laughs> Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson in the style of... <laughs> My Little Pony. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, number two. My... My Little Pony. Rainbow... Rainbow... Rainbow Dash? Dash in the style of... <laughs> Atlantis The Lost Empire. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just <laughs> That is That's the beast. Deep, yeah. That's definitely, we'll let that be the beast. Eh, there you go. The beast in the style of. <laughs> Tim Burton. Oh my Tim, God. In, Tim Burton, Nightmare Before the Christmas. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skellington okay. in the style of. Dr. Seuss. You want DC? She's rigged it. But I want to see what you do in DC style. Me too. Jack Skeleton in DC. Yeah. I like that. Neither of us have seen each other's pieces. Yeah. You have not seen mine and I have not seen yours. I'm so this is going to be a really fun show and tell. Yeah. But now it's your turn and we're starting off with <laughs> Homer is a My Little Pony. And how Good did time. you make your decisions? Um, <laughs> this one. I was very happy with it actually, because usually this isn't really my style. It's very cartoony. I basically decided to go with the anatomy and proportions of a My Little Pony and mm -hmm. just give him Homer colors and mm -hmm. Homer details. Yep. So I got rid of the mane. <laughs> He's just a bold My Little Pony. Um, That's so wrong. <laughs> He's got like that five o'clock shadow as well. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of them had like a little necklace. So I thought I'd just give him his collar. It's amazing. To get a bit of white. Yeah. It's I added a little to... tramp stamp. A little donut Cutie tramp mark. Stamp. It's a cutie oh, it's mark. Like a cutie yeah. mark. Okay. I, which made me remember. I forgot mine. So oh, I did a pony yeah. and I forgot a cutie mark, but yours uh, is perfect. It's a donut cutie mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my proudest thing that I've ever done. I uh, agree. On the I've channel. seen you do some incredible artworks, but this, this really everything takes pales the cake. in comparison. <laughs> yeah. You've peaked in your career right I now. I think so. I think I should just quit now while I'm ahead. So first of all, the white collar, but he's still like yellow yeah. Simpson style, which is perfect, right? Thank you. The blue tail, it's like Marge oh, Butt Homer head. <laughs> I didn't, I was just going blue for the yeah. pants, but yeah. no, I like that. I like thinking it's like Marge's hair or something <laughs> <laughs> coming out of its butt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a humble budget, so we can only afford one slow applause person. But <laughs> as we grow our team, there'll be multiple. The update is, we're not doing YouTube memberships anymore. We tried YouTube memberships. It sucks in a number of ways. Sorry, love YouTube. We launched with with YouTube memberships because we thought it would be better experience for the end user. It's not. People are used to supporting people on Patreon and Patreon is way better at sending out updates and are way better at facilitating creators you know, mm. providing that. We, we were f hitting brick walls with YouTube, whereas like we couldn't even message people if we yeah. had an update or sending files was a nightmare. So Patreon is launched. It's exactly the same pricing tiers, uh, except we have way more confidence that this is gonna be a future-proofed way for you to support the channel. And we're, we already have a thriving community on Discord. So come join in and like, there's so much Yay. happening behind the scenes already. Like we recorded our first tutorial. Yeah, we have we behind do. the scenes stuff happening and we're just getting started. Yeah, I'm so excited to do their like Q and A. Like, yeah, like coaching. Um, yeah, mm. oh my God. The more people we have in the cast, yeah. the more value it will be for our patrons because yeah. there's, there's lots of artistic voices with a lot of different experiences that can just add that value. And that value is possible because of your support. So go check it out, links in the Thank description. You. The scroll at the end of the video will be members and Patreon for the next couple of months as we 
transition over. So anyone who supported on YouTube, don't worry, you'll get all the things you're supporting for, but please make sure to change over. All right, next. Now, before we go into the next one, you did a pony, I did a pony. I just saw the name of the folder. It's the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? I, I don't, can't wait. You're not ready. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love the hair. It's oh my god, the makeup as well. <laughs> I didn't do a cutie mark though, I feel so bad. What anyway. would you have done in hindsight? <sighs> with a joker. Oh. Maybe like a bomb, like a cartoon yeah. bomb with like a fuse. I yeah. feel like that would be pretty cool. Okay. Pretty, I love how you smart. like put it in a scene as well. At well, first I was like, where is it? It's I, so good, it just blends in. I did that with all of them because it's really, it's the first time I did it and it works perfectly to see if it fits. Yeah. And I feel like I'm, I'm pretty happy with my pony. You nailed so, it. Thank you. Your next spin was. Oh God, don't look back. Rainbow <laughs> Dash in Atlantis. Yeah. Do you know what I love? There's eight prompts to spin from. There's a lot of overlap. So you and I will have done similar characters or prompts just with different combinations. So Literally every style that I got, I would then get the character of that style for the next one, if yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was I like My Little Pony the last time and I then Rainbow this. Dash, yeah. This one was probably the one I was most scared of. Do you find yourself justifying the, their place in the world? Like, how do you explain Rainbow Dash in Atlantis? I imagine it would be like the steed of one of the characters. Yeah, yeah. Like, although I do give her a lot of, uh, what's her name? Princess Ki... Something like that. Kida it's been a while since. Yeah, I think that's something. it. It's been yeah. ages since I've seen it. I gave her a lot of her features, like the hair mm. and the eyes, just as like a nod to Atlantis. Otherwise it would have just been pretty basic. Yeah. I went for a much like thinner, consistent lines just to get that like that Disney sort of look. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure what to do with wings. So I just copied this random fish that was like swimming oh, in the background. It had some fins cool. that kind of look like wings. And you know, it's not like super unbelievable yeah. that there would be a horse like this in Atlantis. Like yeah. it's an Atlantis, like lost empire. Maybe they had like these magical, mystical, unicorn-esque creatures with technological wings. Who knows, you know? <laughs> yeah. It works, it looks awesome. This is the one that I was most proud of, I think. Yeah, um, just in terms of the fit. Yeah, That's just cool. just the look and yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah, so it's just a slightly more realistic <laughs> rainbow dash. Yeah, kind of trace around a reference for the horse because that'd be really hard to get right. No, I didn't. I did look at some horse references, um, but I didn't trace anything. That's hard to get right. You did a very good job. Uh, I drew a lot of horses as a kid. Did you? I was like a okay. horse girl, that doesn't so. surprise me because I struggle with horses and my They're my wife hard. knows horses. So when I try to draw horses, she knows when I've gone it wrong. And I'm like, uh, that's a good horse. With the weird elbows. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the knobbly like leg. <laughs> the backwards bits. knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now this does echo one of my creations in a way. Okay. Because I did something in the style of Atlantis, which happens to be the something you just did in the style of Homer? Yeah. Homer in the style of Atlantis? Yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> okay. And again, here he is in the scene. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't recognize him. I was like, yeah, these are all just Atlantis just characters. Just Atlantis characters. That's just I'm so the happy lovable with it. Yeah. That guy that's in Atlantis. Exactly. Oh my god, he looks so good. And it's great because there's like a ship in Atlantis. So he's like, he just mans the nuclear fusion reactor yeah. <laughs> and doesn't have to do anything except eat donuts and be American, oh which god. is pretty great. <laughs> It's so funny how well things can fit. You absolutely nailed that. Thank you so much. That is so I feel like cool. we're both on a roll. A lot of the prompts for this round were pretty, they're stylistically very cohesive, but also quite simple. Like yeah. Simpsons, Atlantis, My Little Pony. Like so there's a couple of more trickier ones, but most of them are pretty simple. So it's yeah. just more, how do you fit them? It's yeah, I'm not used to it. I was like, I think I knocked out Homer as a pony in like mm. 20 minutes. And I was like, what do I do now? Like, <laughs> So your yeah. next prompt. Prompt. Prompt? Your next prompt. Okay. The beast in the style of the Nightmare Before Christmas. I really did not know what to do for this one. The characters in Nightmare Before Christmas, like most of them are quite skinny and like, cause they're 3D stop motion. They're very like smooth and they don't yeah. have any fur or anything on them. I didn't thought about that. Cause you think Tim Burton-esque style, but yeah, you're like, you're basically trying to figure out how to make him a clay figure. Yeah. He tends to give his characters very small noses and small mouths, but the beast has got like this really big yeah. nose and these like big fangs, which I was like, 
how am I going to turn that into a Tim Burton character? Yeah. So I ended up, I sort of played with the proportions of his face a little bit, tried to make it a bit rounder um, and a bit more narrow in the jaw area. Yeah. And I tried to give him those like big spherical, like stop motion Tim Burton yeah, eyes. Yeah. And that's, um, that's like the first thing in, from your sketch, the, the moment of your sketch that meant I thought Tim Burton. Yeah. Like just the tiny dot of an eye in these big round eyes. Yeah, at that stage it was the only Tim Burton-esque thing that I really had. And then I sort of added some like stitches, which were pretty <laughs> like prevalent in The Nightmare Before Christmas. And this was a completely unintentional, but I drew him with like a fist, mm -hmm. trying to give him like a sort of enraged pose. And then I was like, this hand would be perfect if he was carrying like a Santa sack <laughs> yeah. and doing the old like yeah. stealing the Santa sack. So I gave him a hat as well um, and perfect. I made him look really seedy. It's great. Well, and the stitches actually kind of make him look like a stuffed teddy. Yeah. So it, it's, it's kind of perfect. Like it ta that visual feature tells the story of how he could make sense in, in Christmas land yeah. as some sort of monster from the from Halloween Town that yeah. sort of ended up going over joining the Christmas festivities or whatever. And like, like dressed like a nutcracker yeah. as well. Like, yeah. yeah, so I was actually pretty happy with this, this one. This is awesome. He's, he is a very beast and not as Tim Burton as I was hoping for. But I, I wouldn't was... question it though. If I was watching Nightmare Before Christmas and then there's a scene where like, I don't know, Skellington gets this beast Teddy thing to like steal presents. Yeah. 100%. That, that totally fits, that yeah. works perfect. That's amazing. Well done. Thank you. That is so good. I, did I get, oh, I did get Jack Skellington. Okay. I got Jack Skellington in the style of Pokemon. If you I... were given that prompt, would you have gone human or Pokemon? I would have gone Pokemon. Yeah. Looking like Jack Skellington. That's my Pokemon. Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> oh my god, I love him! It's pretty Look adorable. I kind of want the plushie now. Like, I immediately want that Can plushie. Can someone please make this? Like, <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute! I'm pretty chuffed. But isn't that funny? His like, the, are so small. the style thing between, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, you get such fun different results just by plucking and placing. Yeah. It's really fun. Oh my god. Well, I actually also did a Jack Skellington. And you did DC. I did okay. DC. Is this our grand finale, Alicia? This is the grand finale, yes. Okay. Would you say this is the one you spent the most time on? Mm, yeah. Okay. Maybe it's, it was pretty similar to The Beast in yep. terms of time. Yeah. Alright, go for it. I struggled so much with the pose and like the anatomy for this because he's like so tall and like lanky. Mm. But then all the DC like yeah. art are like really muscly and like really like super ultra defined. And it definitely, this one definitely went through an ugly phase. Like yeah. I was doing the line work and it was just like looking just like not very confident. And then you... That was when you came in and yeah. interrupted me. And then I went back and look at, looked at it and I was like, I'm being way too precious about this line work. And I just loosened it up yeah. and um, made it a bit rougher. And that absolutely helped it. Yeah. Funnily enough, like getting caught on the line work might have been a trap because it's actually, as I can see, when you're starting to do line shading and cross hatching and stuff that it's like, okay, now we're getting comic book territory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at that stage, I was like, this was nothing like DC. And then yeah. when I got that cross hatching going, I was getting much more confident. Rather than it being Jack Skellington in Batman's universe, it's kind of to me like if DC Comics was the one who invented Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. And that when like, and that's a perfectly awesome way of going about it. But it works really well because you you sort of got this really cohesive style but is conveyed really clearly in a DC style. That sharp blue edge light, as, a, as you sort of put in the black background and stuff, it's really cool. Yeah, it really like made it pop, Yeah. which a lot of comic book artists do. They do like the little rim light to yeah. um, n help everything not get lost in the shadows. Well, and he's a hard one to make interesting in the sense that he's just black and white. Yeah. And then DC style is very black and white, like just harsh shading and, you know. Yeah. So adding that 
contrast through you just use warm whites and like then the sharp cool blue highlight it all plays off each other really nicely thank you um and i just added yeah a few highlights towards the end um i really liked adding the pinstripes mm -hmm. i think when i started adding the pinstripes i was like yep this is jack skellington look at that it's so good yeah the pinstripes make a huge difference yeah i don't I didn't think they would, but they absolutely do. Yeah, that's awesome. Well done. Oh, that's so fun. All right. Well, since we're showing and telling, I'm, I'm enjoying the vibe of show and tell, by the way. Yeah. It's kind of fun that we both get to surprise each other a little bit. And it that is like... All the, the comic drawings as well. I want to read very... that comic. Like, I want to read that. I want to read Nightmare Before Christmas as a DC comic. Good. So good. I forget what the last one I did. Oh. Pikachu's Dr. Seuss, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> this is my this is the fourth of my four. Uh, oh <laughs> so there you go. Pikachu. That is great. It's it's oh, something. It's so cute. <laughs> what brush did you use for that? That was the good question. Because it works really well. Yeah, I think it was in impact. I think impact it was just impact, one? yeah. It just has that little bit of grit. Yeah. But it still keeps the clean lines. Oh my but god. But his that's basically like his brush sort of is that like, I was gonna say it looks just like his brush yeah funny how brushes all help you out get most of the job done for you yeah <laughs> this is that? so fun and do you know like aside from the exercise as an artist of doing the mixing and matching it's really fun and sort of playful yeah um, but seeing what other people do with similar prompts or even just random things from the same combination is really really fun it was super fun changing out my art style and like trying mm. some like New techniques like hatching and yeah. like, you know, using the ink pens. Cause yeah. I don't usually use the ink pens very much. Yeah. Um, so that was really fun. The other thing that's like the more, like, okay, this, this concept to me feels more fun with two people. Yeah. I can't help but be like, imagine if there were three or four and we were all just spinning a wheel. Yeah. How fun, like, I don't know. It's, I feel like we're at the beginning of some pretty exciting stuff. Big things are coming. Yeah. 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 Very excited. Where do we go from here? How about... Insert art, out! Uh, outset art. Ha 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 ha. Thank you to our members for supporting us who are, well, okay, and patrons. Thank members you. Members and patrons, yeah. which will eventually be just members. Because we're, no, just, just patrons. patrons. I've got it wrong, wrong way around. No, ah. Don't listen to him, so he's any, lying. <laughs> anyone uh, who wants to move over to Patreon, because we will phase out members, uh, just do that whenever the, the whenever it is convenient for you, but we'll keep both rewards chains running on both of them for the next couple of months. Um, probably by February or March, we'll phase out members completely but don't worry um anyone who's ever backed us as a member will get what you pay for and uh please consider joining us over on patreon because it will be a much better experience for you and us because we want to get as much value to you as possible it's it's a, yeah. a big way of saying thank you for helping us do what we're doing and as we build the channel using all the fun people and tools that we're bringing together to show you cooler stuff yeah and help you you said that really well oh thank you you know what you say really well so, this, ready, that thing you say, remember, go. I think. That thing? That you... <laughs> Insertion. <laughs> oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were setting me up for. Insert art, out. Right. Outset art. Ha 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 ha.